The first Agritourism Expo is set for November 1st and 2nd at the Artichon Conference Center, Greater Georgetown. The Agritourism logo and monument was officially commissioned Tuesday evening at the Conference Center. They were designed and constructed by three local artists, Gerald Gittins, Edward Lashley, and Stanislaus Rodriguez. The monument is Ghana's first female monument, Lady Coco. Lady Coco was initially commissioned in October 2016 for the Dent Coconut Expo. The logo depicts rice stalk on the left side and coconut branches on the right surrounding a farm landscape with two horses. The materials used to construct the logo and monument includes toilet paper, mesh, starch, and sawdust. Meanwhile, the team for the expo is linking agriculture and tourism for a greener future. The Agritourism Expo will conclude a week of activities linking Agriculture Month observed in October and Tourism Month observed in November. Director General for the Department of Tourism, Donald Sinclair, said the expo will take on the form of a market day across the country. The Director General boasted that the Agritourism Expo will be a huge, unique and exceptional farmer's market with persons participating from all regions. We want to high profile market days. You know different regions have some prominent market days. We hear about Parika Market Day and Anna Regina Market Day, Charity Market Day, Skeldon Market Day and so on. The regions which are involved in the Agritourism Expo will be celebrating their individual market days during Agritourism Week. And then that week culminates with the Expo which will be Friday and Saturday, where you will see a farmer's market. You will see craft. We have some of the most talented craft producers who will be showcasing their products in their booth. Chief Technical Officer at the Ministry of Agriculture, George Jarvis, said that agrotourism offers farmers the possibility of diversifying and generating additional income through tourism activities. Agrotourism has the capacity to become the most transformative subsector in the economy. We must exploit this advantage. The government of Guyana has a vital role to play in the development of agrotourism, as they are responsible for creating the necessary policies that govern growth and sustainability. According to the Chief Technical Officer, there is potential in farming tourism, culinary tourism, and health and wellness tourism in Guyana. Reporting for a newsroom, it's an alapatwa.